Hey guys, we're here getting ready to go on our trip for the oysters. Uh, thanks for coming along the ride. We're gonna try to vlog it along the way and um, let you guys know what's happening. Beautiful day here. We got the Jeep and we're ready to roll. See you soon. Hey guys, what's up? We're on the way here with my buddy Steve. We appreciate Capital Seaboard for sponsoring this awesome trip. We're headed to uh, look at oysters, but we're in the city right now. I don't know what happened. I think our GPS is off. Just, just kidding. There's that, there's that thing you know. I don't mind with that. We'll check in with you and go and see uh, Gracie's Point Oysters. We're excited about it. See you soon. Guys, I'm going to walk you through what happened the next morning, 5 a.m., super early, but look at this sunrise. We got on the water about uh, 25 minutes to get to where they're pulling, start pulling some oysters. These are little baskets that they go into when they pull them up off the bottom. There's a couple guys in the water there, and they're going to drag these beautiful muddy oysters right now over to the shore, as you see in this clip. They're basically pulling these from a lot of areas, it's only about knee deep water, and you got to watch out for the uh, rebar. Right there is the little juvenile oysters that come up very small. They grow up eventually into this size here. These guys, this is the owner on the right, and his two assistants are pulling these into the boat. We pulled that day a very light load of about seven racks. And so they put them on the boat. There they are laid out in their, their cages. Here's another example of how they do it. And they basically have to physically lift them up. Now, my partner Steve and I, my buddy, we talked about a better system, but this is how they do it now. It's a lot of work that goes into this, right? So you get them on the bottom of this oyster boat. And this is kind of the view once we're headed back uh, to the shore. We were out there for probably an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and there's another boat that he uses that kind of stays docked out there. This is almost like a floating workstation. So basically, as we pass that, we headed back to the processing facility and back on the water. Uh, it's a very beautiful day. It's starting to get a little warm. In the morning, it's a little chilly. Remember, we're out at 5 a.m. It's probably about maybe 7 o'clock right now, 7.30. And we're headed back to the shore. Now, getting them off the boat is a pretty manual process. They have to basically use these snow shovels to get them all into these baskets where they load them into the truck. There's the truck for Mumford shellfish. Um, there's a couple of shots of the, of the deck. Uh, here we are back at their processing facility. They load them into a small um, pallet mover there. Brings them over to this processing machine where these were some they had bagged up as well from before. But they put them in this tumbler. This tumbler spins, as you can see, and the water is washing them off. It tumbles. Uh, they go up in the little ladder there to get into the, the uh, tumbler and it tumbles and washes the grit off and breaks the edge of the shell a little bit so it cleans them up a little bit as they run through that tube and the water is just washing all that dirt off and they come down they're hand packed they click them together make sure they're alive they put 102 in each box they move them very very fast and they're called Gracie's Point Oyster there's an oyster tag laid into the box to make sure we know where they came from and what day they were picked uh, plucked out there's just a shot of a bunch of boxes and they're packed in a pallet. I think it was about 45 cases per pallet, it looks like. So they wrap them up. This is another brand that they also pack for. It's a smaller uh, pallet. And at the end, the owner was showing us how to open oysters. It's a technique I've never actually noticed we use that hammer. So that's really it. Beautiful oysters, nice salinity. And we wrapped up our day at Mumford Shellfish. Come see us at Chef Tony's and enjoy some of these beautiful Gracie's Point oysters.